Welcome to Web Handling. I am super excited to continue Dave's defect with an outline on how to troubleshoot rough roll edges. Even if your customer is not currently complaining, poor roll edges may look like poor workmanship to your customer. No matter whether you have nearly laser cut looking roll edges or they are as ragged as a hedge, everyone can benefit from better looking wound rolls. Roll edges are very much like the rings of a tree. Nearly everything you do on or upstream of the winder or everything in a tree's environment leaves its mark. However, while you might see a narrow tree ring as a testament to a poor growing season, you don't necessarily know whether it was caused by a season that was too hot, too cold, too wet, too dry, head bugs, head fungus, or a dozen other factors. Roll edges are no less challenging to troubleshoot, but not impossible if you are disciplined. I know your time is precious, so let's get started. There are so many defects that show up on the roll's edges. Worse yet, there are so many aliases for those different defects. Thus, we need to be quite careful about what we are talking about here. Indeed, troubleshooting roll edges is one of the more valuable skills winder people can have. Yet, at the same time, they are one of the more difficult to learn. So here, we are talking about roll edges that are not smooth. However, what we are not talking about is where the roll edge is not straight on a large scale, such as dishing and telescoping. These are quite different sets of defects and we covered those in a previous clip. Indeed, instead of not being perfect on a large scale, we're talking about poor roller edge appearance on a fine scale. Here, we are also not talking about poor starts at the core. Those are entirely different sets of mechanisms which can also be a bit complicated to diagnose. Finally, we are not talking about poor cutting or poor slitting of the web. That is a slitting defect, not a winding defect, even though in both cases the wound roll edge looks like crap. We have schools of two hours to two days in length to teach how to cut webs well. Despite these qualifications, that still leaves many causes for poor looking roll edges that we will outline here. More so than most any other defect that we cover in this series, there is no single root cause for rough roll edges. Nowhere are you going to need to be more careful and more organized in your troubleshooting than with rough roll edges. If you are not willing to be super attentive, super careful, and super disciplined, stop now and go find something else to work on. Sometimes poor roll edges start between the slitting blades and the windup. Thus, it would be good to view or review the two previous clips on path control in this series as we build on those concepts here. Troubleshooting rough roll edges always starts with super careful and super fine observations. We are first going to pick a single layer to study. Yes, there are a thousand layers in your roll, but if you are going to try and troubleshoot a thousand layers, you are going to be lost. 
Understanding one single layer is the necessary start to understanding a thousand. Once we have picked the one single layer to study, we are then going to see how that layer compares with the layers near it. What is most important here is to look at both sides of one roll. If that means that you have to cut the roll down to that one single layer you are studying to see if the other side is flush, sticks out, or so on, so be it. If you are not willing to cut the roll down to one single layer, then you need to find something else to work on because you may not have the commitment and discipline necessary to work on such a challenging problem as this. The reasons for picking one single layer and the reason for looking at both sides of a single roll are the same. It is the first decision node in the troubleshooting tree. The web is either offset or it is of different width or it is of some combination where one factor usually dominates. You cannot tell the difference between an offset and a width change without looking at both sides of a roll for that one single layer. There are many more decision nodes in this troubleshooting tree. To keep this clip brief, we will not detail those here. A complete discussion of the tree is presented in my award-winning and trademark Web 101 class that has been taken by 5,000 students just like you. One special case, but common enough, of offset wraps is air entrainment into the winding roll. This is easy to diagnose through symptoms, the most important of which is sensitivity to speed. Beware that these mechanics do not apply to slow or to fuzzy or to narrow webs. My Web 101 school details the when and where and why of air entrainment, so we do not need to repeat those here. The mechanics are that the top few layers of the winding roll can skate on a very thin layer of air in the situation that was just described. The treatment options allowed by physics are the opposite of the symptoms given above. For example, if increasing machine speed makes the roll edges worse, then decreasing the speed should make the roll edges better. It is the same with roll diameter, tension, nip load, and the web properties of smoothness and slipperiness. You can play one factor against another for a remedy. For example, if machine speed increases makes the problem worse, you can increase the nip load of an effective nip to compensate. I say effective because not all nips are effective, a topic we cover in great detail in my Web 101 course. Or perhaps may you, you may have to slow down for some smoother grades. In any case, physics tells you what your options are. There are many other causes for rough roll edges, a few of which are listed here. One of the most common is simple winding machine vibration, especially if there is a nip. The nip both steers the web and narrows it. Thus, any variation of load on a bouncing nip directly translates to either narrowing and or sideways movement, or both, depending on the application details.
Another quite common roll edge disturbance is slitter rings that show as a specific bullseye pattern where the spacing is approximately the bottom slitter ring diameter. It is caused by the axial wobble of the bottom shear slitting blade. This was first written about in great detail by David Pfeiffer, but is taught in both my advanced winding class as well as Dave Rumson's slitting school. There are two subsets of unevenly spaced rings, each with quite distinct sets of root causes. Progressively spaced rings are caused by an element upstream of the winder that has a periodic variance. Then there are rings that have no spacing pattern, but align with some event either on or upstream of the winder. There is, unfortunately, almost nothing elsewhere in the literature that will help you much with troubleshooting rough roll edges. That is because it is a complex, multifaceted problem. Your best bet is probably to literally go to school to learn how the web handling world operates and then use clever troubleshooting to figure out what is the largest specific mechanics for your specific wound roll. Thank you so very much for joining me in this defect solving and defect preventing series. Stay tuned for the next clip where we will discuss scratches and similar long marks that might appear on your web. If you found anything interesting or useful here, please like and share and subscribe. Please also consider supporting the work of this channel using the Patreon link below. See you next time.